Hey guys, today we're gonna to be taking a look at a brand new bag from Nightcore. This is the BP-18, which is a really slim and tactical everyday carry bag that's a collaboration with Lee Gear. And I'm most familiar with Nightcore for their flashlights. We actually featured one of their flashlights in a video on the channel pretty recently, and I was very impressed with the quality of that light. It's one of the brightest that I've ever used. It had some really interesting features. And so I was curious to see what they would bring to an everyday carry bag like this. So I've been testing this out for the past couple of weeks. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about what it's been like to use this, how I've loaded it out, and how it compares to some of the other popular EDC bags that are on the market. Before jumping into the video, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Danny and on this channel, we love reviewing popular travel and everyday carry gear. If you like these types of videos and you'd be interested in seeing more, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a lot. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Starting off with the outside of the bag, this definitely has a very tactical aesthetic. There's a lot of webbing and attachment points all throughout. It's definitely not a minimal bag, very functional. Feels like it's gonna work well for taking into the outdoors or for walking around the city, but it might not be quite as appropriate for a more professional office setting or if you're wearing this with a nicer outfit. I generally like this style of bag. I've been a big fan of Go Rock bags and 511 bags um, throughout my life. So this fits right in with that. And then to differentiate their bag a little bit, Nightcore has included some pops of color to go along with their branding. So you have some yellow accents on the webbing and the zipper pulls, and then you also have the Nightcore logo on the side water bottle pocket. Continuing along the outside, you also have a few Velcro areas where you can customize the bag with a variety of morale patches. The bag includes one from Nightcore. This is you know, just a yellow patch that I can take off if I don't wanna use it. You have a longer strip of Velcro on this top area and then you have one on the water bottle pocket on each side. So, you know, you can customize this quite a bit depending on how you like to use your bag or leave them empty as, you know, I normally prefer a little bit more. And then on the outside, you also have a few handles. So you have one at the top and then one at the bottom of the bag. So this is gonna be helpful for getting this maybe into an overhead storage compartment or for just picking the bag up. Maybe if you're placing this into your trunk or something. So nice to have these. And then the Molly webbing is super useful for attaching things with something like a carabiner or combining with the many different accessories that are available on the market, pouches that you can you know, attach to the Molly webbing that are gonna give you just a little bit more flexibility with how you can organize everything. And then also on the outside, I was really happy to see that the bag has two external water bottle pockets. Currently in this one here, I have the same 20 ounce water bottle that you've seen in a lot of my other daily bag videos, and that fits in there pretty comfortably. The compartment has some elasticity, so you know it'll stretch out to kind of match whatever you're trying to place in there, but it does start to get very tight depending on what's in the compartment, so you have to think about that as you pack the bag out. And then I like that because of this elasticity, when it's not in use, the compartments kind of compress against the bag to maintain a cleaner overall look and prevent them from getting hooked onto anything. Moving into the materials, the bag feels really solidly built. On the exterior, you have a 500D nylon that feels like it's gonna hold up well to rougher usage, and it's also pretty light. The total weight of the bag is 1.6 pounds, so it's really awesome that the bag itself doesn't add any additional weight when you're filling it out to its fullest capacity. And then you have some very nice YKK zippers all throughout that have worked very smoothly, and Duraflex buckles on the straps. And then as far as the capacity, the bag comes in at about 18 liters, and it feels a little bit smaller than some of the bags that I normally like to use on my day-to-day, -day, but it can still hold an impressive amount of stuff for its slimmer silhouette. I was able to fit most of the items that I normally like to carry with me, and when the bag is completely packed out, it still hugs my bag very closely, which makes it great for navigating crowded areas and jumping onto public transit. Taking a look at the straps and the back paneling, so far the bag has been really comfortable to wear. I like how the straps have been implemented here. They have a nice kind of foam padding on the inside. It has a meshy material to help prevent moisture from building up. And then the straps are maybe ever so slightly narrow. I wish they had been just a little bit wider to help prevent the bag from digging into your shoulders when it's a little bit more packed out. But given the smaller size of the bag, it hasn't really been a big issue so far. On the straps, you also have more webbing that's gonna be great for attaching additional accessories that are either sold by Nightcore or just other third-party items or clips that you might wanna add. And then you have an adjustable and removable sternum strap to help distribute the weight. And then on the straps, you have buckles at the bottom and at the top that are gonna allow you to fully remove the straps or actually turn this into a sling bag if you prefer to carry it that way. 
Moving into the backpedaling, this has been really comfortable. I love the implementation here. They have what they call their fish bone system here on the backpedaling, which provides a lot of padding, but also ventilation. All of the padding is well elevated. You have a lot of air channels here. And then the material that's on the padding is also really breathable. So, so far the bag has been very comfortable, even as I've been wearing it for a longer period of time throughout the day. Jumping into the organizational options, the bag keeps things really minimal. There's not a lot of pocketing all throughout. It seems like the company has preferred to allow people to customize the organization on this bag through the use of pouches and the molly webbing. On the exterior, you really only have one smaller quick access compartment near the top. It just has this simple zippered area that's not huge, but it has enough space to still be usable. So in here, I just tossed in some of the items that I might wanna grab a little bit more during the day. So I have a lightning cable with a power brick to charge my tablet and my phone. I also tossed in a little manicure set that I like to have with me. I tossed in a pen, and then I also threw in my Gerber Dime multi-tool. Uh, but besides that, a very simple layout in this compartment, no sort of internal organization or fleece lining, just a nice place for anything that you need to grab quickly or also for maybe tossing in your phone or wallet while going through TSA. And then taking a look at the main compartment, you can actually access this in two ways. From the top, you have this zipper for any items that you wanna be able to reach down and grab quickly. But then you can also open this clamshell style. It has this front panel that opens up and this is secured via this Velcro flap that shares space with the pocket that we just looked at earlier. In addition to the Velcro, you have zippers on either side that allow you to open this flat and have good visibility into everything that you've packed out. And so I definitely took a very modular approach with how I packed the bag out. I have pouches for all the items that I would normally wanna carry with me since there's not a lot of pocketing throughout the rest of the bag. So jumping into what I currently have here, as you can see, it's pretty packed out. At 18 liters, I started to struggle to add anything else. It's also not gonna be super easy to store bulkier items. The biggest item that I have is the Beat Studio wireless headphones with their hard case, and that was starting to bulge out a little bit. So just something to keep in mind with you know, maybe the types of items that you normally need to carry with you, but I was able to squeeze it in. Next to that, I have one of the pouches that Nightcore sent over for me to test out. This is a really nice, slightly padded pouch that's gonna be great for something like a camera or something more delicate that you might need to carry with you. It has these small Velcro pockets on the side for any small accessories, if you have SD cards or cables. It has a carabiner on the back, so you can actually attach this to the outside of the bag if you want to be able to reach it more easily. And then it has a zipper that comes down a pretty good amount. I don't normally carry a point and shoot camera with me, although if you have one of those smaller cameras, it should be able to fit in here okay. This might also be good for an extra lens. I just tossed in my GoPro camera into here and I also threw in a pack of cards just to kind of showcase how much space it could offer. And then on the back of this compartment, you have another slip pocket to help add some separation. So a really nice uh, pouch from Nightcore here. It definitely feels like it's gonna add a little bit more protection to some of those items that I wanna carry with me that, you know, especially as this is kind of floating around the main area. And then another pouch that Nightcore sent over is this smaller pouch, which is gonna be great for a, any number of small accessories that you don't want just kind of floating around loosely in the bag. So this has a little strap at the front that may be good for holding a cable or attaching some sort of a light. And then on the back, you have a slip pocket for anything larger, or maybe if you have some business cards or a thinner wallet. And then the, the pouch itself is just a very simple, small pouch. I chose to use this to hold some of my multi-tools, so I have a little screwdriver in there. I also tossed in Gerber Dime multi-tool. If I don't carry it in that quick access pocket, I might toss it into a pouch such as this. And then I have my flashlight as well, but you can use this for a variety of different options. Nightcore actually has a video where they pack this out with batteries and a mouse, and you can check that out. I'll include a link to that in the description below to get some ideas on how you could use this. This also includes this little lanyard that you can attach to the end of this, of this pouch. So that's gonna make you be able to wear this around your neck. If you're going to the beach or something, you can just put this on, maybe put some cash and your ID in there. It's not super waterproof or anything, but still just a nice thing you can throw over your neck to have with you when you're on your flight or walking around the city. Continuing on, I have two pouches from Air. I have the Air Slim pouch, which has a lot of internal organization. So this is where I normally store my dongles and cables and chargers and all the stuff that I might need to use with my laptop or while I'm working remotely. And then I also have the Air Split Kit, which is a newer pouch from their city collection. Uh, and this is a little bit more minimal than the other pouch that I just showed. And this has some of those other kind of non-tech items that I like to carry with me. If you wanna see how I packed this out, I'll include a link in the description below to the video where I did a more detailed walkthrough on it. 
And then I also tossed in a full-size moleskin notebook. And then at the back of the compartment, I threw in my Levitate portable standing desk. And I was really excited to see that that still fit given the size of the bag. Now with the compartment empty, you can get a better look at the inside. So pretty simple layout overall. On the sides of this compartment, you do have two additional slip pockets that are gonna offer a nice depth and volume to be able to hold some bulkier items. So in this one here on the left, I just tossed in my Ray-Ban sunglasses with their case. And then on the other side, I tossed in my Blue Pop portable Bluetooth speaker and power bank. These may also be good pockets for something like an umbrella or an extra small water bottle that you're carrying with you. So I really like having at least a little bit of organization here and then they just stay out of the way if you don't wanna use them. One thing to note is if you are planning on putting something bulkier into these compartments, it'll probably make it a little bit more complicated to use this external water bottle pocket. And then beyond the organization, because you have such a simple layout here, this may be a bag that you can use for carrying some gym clothes or for an overnight trip. It's definitely not a big bag, you know, unless you're an ultra light minimal traveler, you could probably toss in a smaller packing cube. I could probably fit my compressible packing cube as well, but it would take up most of the space. So it's not really practical, but for just the change of clothes, for an overnight trip, this can work quite nicely, especially with this simpler layout. And then on the flap of the compartment, you have this Velcro paneling that's gonna allow you to attach a variety of accessories that are sold by Nightcore and other companies. So you can place additional pouches here if you wanna customize the bag, or if you don't want to, then it just kinda of stays out of the way. And then the last thing I wanna mention in this main area is that you have this separate sleeve that's meant to hold up to a 14 inch laptop. Currently what I have in here is a 13 inch MacBook Pro. You can see there's some leftover space at the top. And this is gonna be a compartment that you can access very well from the top, maybe even easier than going from the clamshell style opening. The sleeve itself is not super padded. It's a little bit thicker than kind of a standard slip pocket, but it's something that I would definitely recommend still using an additional laptop sleeve or you know a case with your iPad if you're carrying it that way. It's not suspended off the bottom of the ground or anything like that. And so pulling the device out so you can get a better look at the inside. It doesn't have any sort of fleece lining or anything like that, but it does have some padding along the back. It also comes up a decent amount. If you happen to have a thicker device, it should be able to fit in here comfortably. And then you may also want to use this to hold a water bladder. This pairs with this zippered opening on the side that allows a nozzle to come through so that you can hydrate while you're walking. So a really nice, simple layout in this main area. You know, it's not as big as other bags that I've used, but you know, some people are looking for a more minimal EDC bag. So if you're looking for something like that, that's also gonna offer a tactical vibe and plenty of room for customization. And this is gonna be a really good option to check out. And so to wrap up, it's been a pretty good experience testing out the BP-18 over the past couple of weeks. And you can currently purchase this on Nightcore's site. And I've included a link in the description below to the official product page if you wanna learn a little bit more about the bag or if you'd be interested in purchasing. And generally, Nightcore seems to have some pretty reasonable prices and offer a solid build quality on their items. But there's also gonna be a lot of other solid options to consider in this category. And so as I was testing this out, the first bag that this made me think of is the 511 Rush 12, which we looked at really recently. And that was a very solid, tactically styled bag, a little bit bigger than this one. It came in at about 24 liters. It had tons of organizational options, pretty comfortable harness system. That includes a well padded and suspended laptop sleeve. It also, because it has molly webbing like this, works with a variety of accessories if you wanna kind of customize how you lay everything out. So just a really solid overall bag. And it's also gonna come in at around $100, so at a pretty reasonable price point. And if you're looking for a bag with this type of aesthetic that's just gonna give you a little bit more space, that's gonna be a good option to keep in mind. The next bag this made me think of is the Recycled Firefighter 24 Hour Backpack, which is one of my favorite EDC bags of all time. It has a really nice minimal aesthetic, it doesn't have all the webbing that this has, but it's solidly built, comfortable. It has a simple but effective organizational layout. And it even comes in a smaller 12 hour size if you need something more minimal that's like this and that's really slim. So, you know, if you have a little bit of a higher budget and you're looking for a bag that's made in the USA that's gonna just offer a simple layout and aesthetic and it comes in multiple sizes, then that's gonna be a good option to check out. The next bag this made me think of is the Evergood CHZ22, which is a really solid, minimal everyday bag at 22 liters it's going to be a little bit bigger than this and that is a top loading bag it's not a clamshell opening kind of like this one was but it has a simple organizational layout with pockets that offer enough space to be practical it has external water bottle pockets which are excellent to use a comfortable harness system and a really solid build quality so if you're looking 
for a capable 22 liter bag that's gonna work well for exploring the city or taking into the outdoors, that's gonna be another great option to take a look at. And then the last option that I'll mention here is the Air Day Pack 2 which doesn't have the same aesthetic as this bag at all. That is a very techy looking bag, super minimal and sleek. It has you know that shiny exterior on the front and it's a very professional looking bag. The reason that that bag reminds me of this one is more of the sizing that is a little bit smaller while still providing a lot of organizational options for all of your tech and smaller items that you might wanna grab during the day. It has a great laptop compartment that's suspended and well padded. It's very comfortable and it's not too overwhelmingly big. So a really nice versatile bag, it comes in at a pretty reasonable price point. And if you're looking for something that's about this size, but that's gonna be a little bit more appropriate for the office, and that's gonna be a fantastic option to check out. With that being said, the Nightcore BP-18 holds up well against all those bags. And if you're looking for a smaller tactical EDC bag that's gonna offer plenty of comfort, then this is gonna be a very solid option to consider. And I'm definitely curious to hear what you guys think of the BP-18 and how it compares to some of the other popular EDC bags that we've featured on the channel. And if there are any similar options that you think I should check out, as always, please let me know in the comments. And I wanna thank the company again for sending the bag for me to test out and to you guys for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and we'll see you in the next one.